about this Texas. You know, we were talking about this. The Texas lawmakers are, are criticizing a raise for uh, co basketball coach Rick Barnes. And several Texas senators on Thursday criticized the recent $200,000 raise for Texas basketball coach Rick Barnes, calling it a nuts and a tone deaf uh, during a state budget crisis that threatens cuts to deeper action. And they were saying about um, at a state at a time like this where everybody's getting cuts, why are we giving the basketball coach a $200,000 raise? Well, it's preposterous. And, well, well, no, hold on a second. First of all, 25, 75% uh, of it is already in I'm contractual. Saying I'm saying the rhetoric's preposterous. Well, 75% is... Now, they are giving him 125... Yeah. Right, 75,000. Now, they are giving him a $125,000 raise. That's the bump, yeah. That's the other... That's No, that's the boost. The bump, right. he's got his contractual. They're going on top of that to right. boost his salary oh, yeah, yeah. to $2.4 million, keeping him among the highest paid coaches in the country. And the reasoning is from, from their uh, athletic director, DeLos Dodds, is that before Rick Barnes arrived at Texas, we weren't a top national basketball program. We are now. So they're rewarding him for that. Look, there's a bigger issue in play. The only reason Texas state senators want to weigh in on what the University of Texas's basketball coach is paid is because it's a public school. And they're crafting a narrative that somehow Rick Barnes' salary is coming out of the public coffers. They'd be building highways instead of paying for the basketball coach at the public university with this money. If you want to propose to me that the University of Texas athletic department is not wildly profitable, uh, you're wrong. I mean, they clearly are in the black and can afford to give this guy a raise. Now, whether it's right or wrong that a basketball coach makes that much money, that's a different debate. But the idea that Texas lawmakers should be... Uh, no, it's just public school. Are they getting, are they getting it's public, a public money? school that I can't imagine that I cannot imagine that the uh, Department of Athletics at the University of Texas needs public funding. I think they're pretty profitable. Between merchandising, television contracts, ticket sales. I mean, it's a huge brand. Per, yeah, I, 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 a I, I don't, huge I, Yeah, but brand. I don't, that doesn't mean they're not getting public. Just because maybe they're profitable. I don't know if they're not getting public funding at all. Are I they don't getting know their that. own network very soon? <laughs> is it gonna, it is something, yeah, they are. They are it's something like that. They are getting their own the network. UT even. network? Now, I got to tell you, because now on a personal note, I have great affection for the University of Texas because they're a long time... Great legendary sports information director was a guy named Jones Ramsey for I, I don't know how many years. I think twenty. Just Daryl Royal, and he was there for like twenty, thirty years. And he's legendary Jones Ramsey. And when I was in college at Houston, his daughter Mary Ramsey, God bless, one of the great girls of all time, uh, tall redhead, really striking, uh, took it upon me and and uh, this young inexperienced guy and one of my first evenings where I got to go quote all the way was. Did she deflower you? No, no, but she was one of the ones who took pity on me early, and uh, and and she taught me a few things. So I have, and it's like as as any good daughter of a Texas, as a University of Texas person should, you know, teach these Yankees a thing or two. And she taught this Yankee a thing or two. Hook them horns, you know. So I have great respect for. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the UT side on this. <laughs> I have no basis whatsoever. I'm taking UT side on this. Hook them horns, the eyes the of Texas. Texas. <laughs> you, I'm all for that. You give that money to that guy. More than eyes upon it's you, like, huh? boy, yeah, it was a lot of eyes. That night, I'm, I'm smiling from ear to ear now. Where is she? <laughs> Mary, what a New great, Jersey Jew boy. A, a, a great girl. Just a great.